changes, rapid thrusting changes in our society, compel our interest in automation. The whole manufacturing community must give serious consideration to automation, ever higher levels of automation, as the means of maintaining or achieving a profitable position in the marketplace. This is the structure that puts management in position to manage the machines, the computers, that manage the manufacturing machinery. EDP machines have a long history of service in accounting, financial analysis, forecasting, and other paperwork areas. For manufacturing control at level four, they are used in production planning, management's control of such vital to profit elements as production and inventory orders forecasts, and product structure data. At three, the manufacturing operations control level, GE 4000 computers carry the numbing and costly brain workload involved in monitoring detailed work schedules and controlling raw and in-process material and finished goods. Specialized software packages such as ADAPT for computer-directed machining and integrated data store also reside here with direct access to level two where dedicated computers actually control the manufacturing functions of materials handling, production monitoring, test and inspection, and machining. Level one, the plant equipment and drive control package involves equipment that magnifies production muscles. GE supplies such vital elements here as electric drive and control equipment, numerical controls, automatic assembly and test machines, communication panels, workstation terminals, and materials handling systems. When all levels are online functioning in real time, management truly is in command. <laughs> materials handling and storage. Up to 75% of the manufacturer's total plant space is devoted to materials handling. Opportunity? Vast. This is the high-rise rack structure of a stacker crane system at a GE manufacturing plant in Kentucky. The full scale and smooths out peaks and valleys of a difficult materials handling problem. The key to successful operation is General Electric's CODATAB program control. The teeth in the Coda tab shutter permanently code each bin location. A Coda tab sensor provides precise feedback data. Field proven solid state directomatic logic control makes the system compatible with computer control systems. The information handling gap can be closed by use of Coda Store, a general electric material control which provides computer direction of the mechanical equipment and an efficient software file for up to date storage information. The overall objectives and benefits of the automated stacker crane system add up to tighter management control through real-time information availability. At a GE dishwasher and disposal plant, parts, 840 different but standard parts, 100 million annually are produced. Production monitoring is a challenge met by a General Electric GPAC 4000 control computer. Piece counts are provided automatically to the computer by sensors on each production machine. The computer monitors parts through the production process, keeping records for inventory and incentive pay purposes. Workstation terminals throughout the system enable operators or foremen to summon any one of six types of assistance, minimizing costly machine downtime. Up to 11 downtime reasons can be identified and recorded by the computer for accurate machine efficiency records. The console operator in the computer control room can interrogate the system at any time. The system eliminates man hours of reporting and record keeping, costly over and under production, and unnecessary machine downtime. The system is operating now, handling more than 300 pallet loads a day, in and out of the storage rack structure. The average stacker cycle is less than a minute Guilty until proven innocent is the basic philosophy behind the automatic testing these GE color TV tubes are undergoing. The system consists of an oval carousel conveyor with its buggies which accept tubes of the various types produced. 
38 automatic tests of the go-no-go no go type are conducted. At the other side of the carousel, seven operators test for physical defects on the face of the screen. Production rates of 120 color TV tubes per hour and 400 monochrome tubes per hour are achieved with this automated testing system. The characteristics of each tube are recorded for statistical and quality control records. In the past 15 years, numerically controlled machine tools have revolutionized manufacturing. Today, in response to industry's demand for greater productivity, General Electric has developed a computer-directed system called the Mark Century Commander to increase the utilization time of NC equipment. The drum memory of the Commander system provides ample program storage, allowing the system to control up to 30 NC machines simultaneously. Part programs are entered into the Commander system through a GE Terminet 300 communications printer and processed by a GPAC-30. A single Commander system, then, is capable of providing program storage, data distribution, and control for all of the NC equipment in most shops. The Schreiber division of Harris Intertype has just received delivery of the first Commander numerical control system. Schreiber, the world's largest manufacturer of business forms printing presses, collating equipment, and carbon coating machines, plans to use the Commander system as part of a continuing program to incorporate the most advanced manufacturing methods in its operations. Initially, the GE Commander system will be used at Schreiber to operate two machine tools, with a number of machines being brought under commander control in succeeding months. The system will enable Schreiber to correct and optimize part programs at the machine by means of a mobile GE Terminet 300, thus saving valuable utilization time by eliminating the need to punch a corrected program in paper tape. According to Jack Anderson, the assistant manager of manufacturing at Schreiber, the capability of the commander system to control many NC machines simultaneously with substantial savings in hardware and its compatibility with machines of different manufacture makes the system a natural step in Schreiber's ever-improving manufacturing techniques. The commander system can also be used to log machining operations as part of a management control system. The logging will be accomplished through both a machine operator station and sensors mounted on the machine tool. The commander then can be linked to a larger manufacturing operations control computer, to your EDP computer, or to a time sharing system for online conversational source language editing of NC part programs. You can see such a computer doing its job here. 